For this problem, we want to rationalize our denominator. What that means is we want to get the radical symbol out of the denominator. Typically, if it's a square root, we can just multiply the denominator by itself to eliminate the radical sign. But we do always have to remember that whatever we choose to do to the denominator, we also have to do that to the numerator. So looking at this equation, the first thing we're going to have to do is to split up the radical so we can see what the denominator is. But we know that we can split a radical between the numerator and the denominator to write this as the square root of 5 over the square root of x. In order to get rid of the square root symbol in the denominator, we can multiply the numerator and the denominator by that square root of x. So in the numerator, we have the square root of the 5 times the x, which will not simplify. But in the denominator, a square root times itself is going to be just x. Or, as a middle step, we can look at it as the square root of x squared. But again, because the square root and squared power are opposite, have an opposite relationship, you can cancel the square root with the square power to just be left with x. So that when we write our, rationalize our denominator, we can write it as the square root of 5x over x.